So now that you guys have finished the connections between all of the co different compass groups, you guys are now ready to move on to the next part, which is spanning out from your indicator behavior graph to a systems graph. And so a systems graph is basically you're listing down all the factors that are influenced and being influenced by uh, your behavior graph or the indicator, which is for this one, global warming and the compass group is nature and CO2 emissions. So what you have here, you first start out with general ideas. So you have food, personal possessions, electricity, changes in land use, and transport. So just to, uh, just for, due to the interest of time, I'll just generally um, look over these points. So for example, in food, some of the things that are being caused by that are buying important goods. Buying important goods, goods, sorry, are uh, usually then affected with transport. Transport then it increases the CO2 emissions if transport is being increased. And then for electricity, we have aircon usage or something that's in your sphere of influence. So aircon usage leads to more CO2. More CO2 then causes a rise in temperature and then a rise in temperature will eventually back to more aircon use.